All right, friends. So now you have all this data in, you've worked with parents, you've run reports, and it's time to do the report you only do twice a year, which are report cards. So I want to show you a few things with report cards and end of year data. Um, not necessarily end of year, but some cool data. And that's in this charts section. Um, the student grade trend is not really applicable to us. That's more secondary. But we do have our friend expected level of performance chart. So I can click on that. And it does take a second to come up. So don't panic. If it takes a moment, you didn't do anything wrong. Um, and when it comes up, it's super overwhelming because you can see it's all students, all subjects, and all skills. Um, and you can hover over and get more information, but this is a bit overwhelming for me. So if you notice, you can come down here and change the options. And you can change it from all students to a particular student. You can change it from all subjects um, to a specific subject and then a specific standard or skill. Um, and then this will show the skills or subjects. Uh, for our purposes, I would probably leave it in events. And then just know that as you change these things, you have to press this refresh button for it to show up here. And you can have it be, um, and then it's a chart. Um, so that I can preserve student privacy um, I have done one and then press this print chart button and so that looks like this so you can see I changed this to um, one subject and then one particular skill and here are all the events in that skill and um, and you can just if you're a visual person you can kind of get an idea um, on how they're doing on mastery the student is obviously making some progress. They have some bad days um, and a little better days, but most of the data here is green. Um, I can't determine without knowing the student, obviously, and really what this data means, which you as their teacher would, if this is mastery, but I would say just looking at this raw do data, we're at least at a two or possibly a three. So, um, this chart could also be super helpful if you were, again, referring a student to SST. Um, so, very helpful. But in no way advocating that you do it for every single student and every single um, skill. That would be too much. So, going back. Um, so, our reports, when we print the report card, remember, is the custom report card. And we don't use standards. It's the custom report card. But normally before you print the report card, you have to actually put in the grade for each standard. Now this teacher who's letting me borrow theirs has already done with their grades because it's the end of the year. Um, but I just want to show you the power of when you get to report cards and you have to start putting in grades. If you have done this where you have um, put in the assessments that you have given and the students have done, um, then, <clears throat> I'll show you one, when we click on the underline to go to the skill or standard, um, you would have student names here, but I've hidden that. It will list out all of their data, right? Um, and it will list out um, so that you can see, okay, what's the trend and what did they get last time? And then that helps make determine on overall if you're going to have mastery. Obviously, um, you have, might have other data to consider or observations. I'm in no way saying everything you do has to be put in Skyward because no one's got time for that. But instead of just staring at a blank screen and trying to think back or open a whole bunch of different windows to try and remember um, what was in Savis and what was in Wonders. This is an amazing tool to just have it all there for you. Um, so another thing that you will probably want to do before you actually press print report cards is to add a comment. Now just reminding you that comments 
only show up on the report card if they're put in the home room, the first period of the home room or the top home room. I am going to show you comments in ELA just so that I don't mess up this teacher's comments. Um, so to do comments, you simply come here and press on the comments button. Okay, so when you get into comments, you have to select the grading period. Um, I skipped showing that step because I was just trying to get in here and protect student identity first. So when that comes up, you have this teeny tiny box where you can start typing. Sorry, mine's a little different because I'm trying to show you things. So this box piped, popped up. Um, so you have this teeny box where you can type. Um, if you don't like typing in this teeny box, you have a couple options. Right here in the corner, there are these lines and you can you can make this um, get bigger or smaller by putting your mouse there and dragging it. Um, the other option you have is to click this little button. Um, okay, so when I click this little box down here, then this whole um, menu pops up and now I have this nice big box to type in. The other awesome thing about this is I can type in a comment and have it go into all of my whole class, all of the comment boxes, without having to cut and paste. So for example, I could type, I love having, and then I'm gonna just leave it blank because I don't want them to know that it's a mass comment. In my class, please make sure to read every night. And then I would say apply to all. If I just wanted it to go in the one person's comment, then I would say okay. But I have this apply to all option. So if I press apply to all, now you can see it's in every single one. And then I can go in and say, I love having Linda. I love having Bob and so on and customize them that way. So that's a really nice way to put in a sentence frame and then make it easier to uh, access. Um, so I'm gonna say back because I don't wanna ruin this teacher's comments, but that's some easy ways to do comments. And then I'm gonna hit my back button again. And then of course at the end here, you go to, excuse me, let me get rid of my blurs. Then we would go to reports and custom report card. And then we would print the custom report card and it would have our comments and all of our grades in it because you are done with a whole term or hopefully a whole year. Hope that helped. Have a great day. Thanks.